Welcome back friends. So today we have some exciting news. We've got some colors from Nova Color and these paints are like a almost like a fluid paint but a little bit heavier and they come in little jars or big jars and um, I'm trying them for the first time on a jelly plate. So I was very curious why nobody is using these. I did not expect them to work well. So let's take a look at how my session went. This will be a long one. Okay, so today I want to do a um, jelly printing session, but I got some new stuff from Nova Paints. So I did buy some bottles. Hopefully that little red cap is in here somewhere. Yes, I bought some more bottles because I definitely want to start mixing some paints. Yes, the red caps are in here. Anyway, I just wanted to show you I've never used Nova paints before. So and I, I purchased these. I am not, I'm not, um, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. This is just me wanting to try. Let me put them like this so you can actually see what I purchased. Um, I'm excited. I, I got some small bottles and I got some, some bigger ones because they were at a very good price. I think one of the bigger bottles is the titanium white. Transparent red iron oxide. Ooh. Okay, so I'm also, one of the reasons why I'm attempting to do this, um, Look at this beautiful color, Thalo Turquoise. And we shall see, but any anyway, nice big jar of that. I think it's, they're supposed to be kind of fluid, but maybe not as fluid as golden. And um, but, but more fluid than, or carbon black, more fluid than a, um, soft body even though they're in jars usually when you see a jar like this you think heavy body you don't even okay this is the blue green that might be nice but these are definitely colors that have to be mixed um, I don't know if they're going to be good like right on the plate but these three can be my primaries that I mix on the plate we'll see we'll see how that works this is my white my titanium white and it says opaque right here. So here it says transparent, 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 opaque, black is opaque, blue green is opaque, turquoise is opaque. So anyway, we're gonna test these on the plate. Um, I may test them with a little bit, maybe, well, look, first, before we do anything, let's open one up. Ooh. And already I'm spilling, of course. So it's more fluid, I guess, than I expected. Let's get a spoon or something so we can really, or a popsicle stick. So this is Hansa Yellow, which is, okay, so it's fluid, but not as fluid as, definitely not as fluid as um, Golden. But it looks like it's heavy pigment. So these, and, th and this one, let me see what color it is, looks like. Okay, mixed with white, this color might be almost like Titan Buff. Um, I don't know. That's what I was thinking anyway. But transparent red iron oxide. I think that's gonna make a nice mixture, so. Anyway, let's just get the plate out and play with these three colors anyway and see what happens. All right, so these are the two I'm going to work with today. These are experimental as well. This is very similar to the other one that had just circles. I like this one better, I think. Anyway, we're going to play with that. And then while I was um, messing around in Illustrator <laughs> creating this, um, this accidentally happened. I didn't realize these were on another uh, layer and 
all of a sudden I saw the design on the screen and I thought, ooh, that could be a stencil. So this one is the mask and that's a stencil. And I think that using these together could be a lot of fun. So anyway, and we're testing new paint. But anyway, we're gonna start with the yellow. I'm just looking to see, oh, that's very transparent. This may not be good, I don't know. Just wanna see coverage on the plate. Now, if I mix this with, I still have fibers on this plate. I thought it was all cleaned up. This is almost a different kind of a Hansi yellow. This is really, really bright. It's like almost day glow yellow. So I don't know, like, like glow in the dark yellow. So I'm not, not wild about the color of this Hansa yellow, but um, might mix well with other paints and might be fine. And these are four ounce jars, which is the same amount of paint as in those, um, the usual size bottles that I use for golden. Let's just see how this picks up. Picks up nicely. Wow, it's picking up everything. Okay, so I'm happy with the pickup. Very, very happy. All right, let's keep, so that's, ooh, that, that might be a nice background for another print. Let me just get some of these fibers off here. So this is left over from when I did a marbling thing with twine. And I thought I got it all off the plate, but obviously not. Okay, so we're going to use this to pick up another color. So let's let's mix a little bit of this quinacridone red. Let me get another stack of popsicle sticks here. All right, I'm going to put some the red down over here, the yellow over here. No, they're both transparent, so let's see what happens. The red is going down nicely. Let's see. These, these two colors are usually with the golden. I love it. So let's just see what happens. Okay, now we're gonna try stencil. Ooh, nice orange. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this one down and we're gonna use deli paper. I also wanna see how I'm looking, you now that other one, this yellow one that I did over here, um, I picked that up pretty quick. Like, I didn't even wait a minute. I wanna see if deli paper works as well as the golden. Very nice, picked up very nice. Okay, so, so far I'm very, very happy. Now let's see what we got left on the plate. Beautiful. I'm going to try to pick that up with this, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna just give it a go. So again, this is a rice paper, and I'm going to time this one. I'm going to give it a minute. Let's do this one for one minute and see if that's enough. Thank you. 
feels so dry. I think I want to pick it up. Okay, we have 10 seconds left, so let's just go for it. Okay, we left some on the plate. Okay, that was, that was my one minute mark. I like this little subtlety we're getting in here. Okay, we might print something on top of that. All right, I'm going to try to mix the yellow and the blue this time. This is an ultramarine blue. I don't know why more people aren't using the Nova paints on the gel plate. I'd never see anybody talking about this. I'm going to have mostly blue on that end. Let's see if I get a little bit more here. this again. I'm definitely using it flipped so we might still get those lines. I'm going to use the deli paper again. I think it dried really fast. It doesn't seem to like it's going to pick up as well as they say. This whole side was already dry. Wow. That's kind of interesting. I picked up those little red lines. Okay, I'm going to put the delis on one side. This I am going to probably pick up. See, again, we have the, the reds under there. So I don't have a neutral to pick this up with. All right, let's, um, I don't want to pick it up with yellow. This blue green kind of intrigues me. I want to, I want to mix this though with some white and it says it's opaque. So I think it's a good pickup paint. And we have to wait for this to dry anyway. So let's mix. like I said mostly white So the other nice thing about this is I'm going to get to break out of my comfort zone with color, even though I, I did pick these two colors, which is my go-to. But, um, you know, this blue-green is different than I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> Look at that. It's beautiful. So let's see how this picks up. Thank you. 
pretty color. Okay, this time I'm going to set the timer for two minutes. Still learning about this paint. But I do like to rely mostly on my hand, but just for your benefit, um, I, okay, let's do one minute and then we'll check. Um, because I just want you to see that with rice paper, you don't have to wait as long. With deli paper, you wait even less time. With a heavier stock paper, which to be perfectly honest with you, I don't even have here because I don't like to collage with thick paper. Even the copy paper's too thick for me, I think. So I tend to go for these really thin papers that are highly absorbent. The deli paper you wouldn't think was absorbent, but it picks up beautifully and it leaves like, like if you wanna clean your plate, like use your deli paper, it's amazing. I tried another deli paper recently. I think it was Logan. It comes folded up in a box, like a little pop-up box, like tissues. I did not like it. I was at a friend's studio and she had it. And so we tried it and it didn't pick up as well as this deli paper that I get. Okay, so again, this feels dry, but I'm gonna go another minute just because we had a couple of layers here, and I want to see for sure that I get all of it this time because on that last deli pickup, we, this had already dried. But that stuff that didn't pick up here is in that bottom layer, or which is now going to be the top. Okay. Feels dry now. So I would say about a, min about a minute and a half is good. <clears throat> so my voice is still really bad. All right, here it goes. So it's even picking up the grunge on the edge. That's a sign of a, oh, look at this beautiful color blue. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, yes. Fabulous, so that little uh, pick up that left the ring around all my circles. Wow. <clears throat> that, uh, that that was a nice accident actually um, because then it made nice nice deli paper where we also have it in there and like this side over here is gorgeous but also this and this blue. Oh my god this blue. I haven't used this one yet. Well, I want to get a um, possible ghost print with that. Do I want? Now I could either brayer through these openings, or I could put the paint down, lay this down, and then uh, work with the ghost. I'm going to try putting the paint through the openings. Uh, we're going to do. A quinacridone red. So another thing that I like to test when I'm testing a paint is how whether or not it seeps underneath a stencil when I'm doing this kind of an application, which the fluid, golden fluid, goes right under. Not 
not so good for this type of application. Put a little bit more in some of these. So it's a good test for that as well. Plus I'm not sure I'm gonna put this stencil out. I wanna see if I like the results. I like the unevenness of it, the randomness of it. I'm noticing, yeah, this paint is kind of like Amsterdam in that it's not, it's a little grainier. So I'm definitely seeing some grain, but it looks pretty good. What do I want to do? I want to definitely layer this on top of that, especially on this side, maybe this way. I'm thinking of a darker color. I'm going to try mixing this blue with something. drop of red well, two drops of red um, and then of course white but not too much it's kind of an interesting reddish blue. Maybe I needed such a yellow in there. Drop. Yeah, it's giving me more of a gray. Just a gray blue. See that? That's kind of what I was going for. I wanted a dark color. And I might mix a tiny little bit of white with this. So we get like an uneven. Okay, let's see what happens now. That might have been a little bit too much paint, but that is a gorgeous color. I hope you can see that. So I'm trying a different setup here at the studio today. And the problem is I cannot see my camera. And um, the software that I have that allows me to see my my frame is um, it doesn't work here at the studio. It, uh, the Wi-Fi is so lousy here that it just keeps uh, timing out. So I'm hoping by letting it just keep going that maybe we'll be good. Ooh, oh, oh, I love that. Wow. Nice deli paper. Okay, let's see what's going to happen now. Well, we're going to... Um, let's see what we've got. Yeah, we've got some interesting stuff going on. So, but I have to think of a good color for this. Um... So I'm using these little containers because I want to, you know, test some of these mixtures before I go and um, mix a whole bottle. So we also have, let me see if, how much of this we have left over. I wonder if this would be good with this. I don't know. I mean, it's a beautiful color and everything, but not with this particular um,
color combination here. Okay, let me stick some white in here. I want this to be a light color, kind of a neutral. Actually, I'm going to try some of this. So this looks like it actually needs to be mixed. But let's put a lot of this in here. Plus we have the red, quinacridone red. Ooh, now I just need to add a lot of white. Ooh, I think I like this. So I'm probably off camera there. Just grabbing some more white. Because I do want this to be a light color. But I didn't want it to be too pink. So that's why I added the um, transparent red iron oxide. And that is gorgeous. but it may not be light enough. So it's still, still a little dark. I'm gonna get a spoon. And by now, we are dry. And I liked the two minutes the last time, so I'm going to go two minutes again. I must have put too much paint because we're getting a little bit of a wrinkle right here. So, but I'll keep, while we're waiting for this, oh my God, look at this. I love it. But you know what I'm thinking. Like, is that is that stencil really necessary? Anyway, gorgeous paper. Very happy with this one. This one worries me. Okay, that was one minute. Still feels very wet. I must have put it on too thick. I like squirt bottles. Once we get these this, these paints into squirt bottles, we'll be good. So what I'm thinking is I'll probably mark on the side of the bottles exactly what the mixture is so that I don't um, forget. Have you ever done that? You mixed up a beautiful color and you forgot exactly what paint <laughs> combination you used, like exactly which blue was that? Um, yeah, I've done that. So anyway, this was a good experiment. I think um, Nova colors are very affordable, in my opinion, for the amount of paint that you get. Um, it's it's these are making nice prints, and I'm and I am loving the colors. Oh, here we go. But it still feels a little wet. But we're gonna pull. This is an experiment. Okay, so here, yeah, this is where my wrinkle was. See, so I didn't get a good, a good print there. But, <clears throat> this, this color could have been lighter. But look at how nice and solid that color is when you add a lot of white. And, and look at how much, um, you know, the, I think that was a that was a ghost, right? Yeah. 
So for a ghost, actually, that was a pretty strong color ghost. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to try right now to mix up my idea about the red iron and the, and the white. So let me just put, I really think, and then I have to put just a touch. Let me go get another popsicle, a skinny one, because I just want a little bit. Is that light tight and buff? I think so. I should get a bottle of tight and buff out to see. Sennelier's tight and buff. Might not be. Let's see, just squeeze a little bit. It's a little, oh, it's a little yellower. Let me see Golden's. So it's a little muddier, is what I'm noticing. Um, almost like it has a, see how it's almost like a little bit greener? But I'm not gonna try that, because actually I think this is nice. So for now, I, I will try to get closer to that and I'll let you know if I figure it out. But this is a very nice color and I think it's gonna be a nice pickup. So let's try, okay, let's go back to our yellow. A little touch of red. Okay, we're going to use that for pickup color. So this is going to be... I'm going to try to do a ghost with that stencil. That sort of uneven... I don't know what kind of ghost it's going to make, but we'll see. It's going to make a nice deli paper. So I just realized I did not buy paint gray. Probably should have. They also sell bundles of paint. So like there's one of their bundles is called Mid-Century Modern. And I was almost tempted to just go for that to really get, break me out of my comfort zone. And I might still buy them because, like I said, these are far more affordable. But then I have to have space to store them, so I might not go nuts. Very nice. I might layer this one. Okay, let's, okay, so we have a ghost. Now I have to think about what I want to do with this. So I might use, since I have a little bit of that blue, I might add a little bit more white. just so I have enough of this paint. Maybe I'll add a touch more blue so we get a slightly richer blue this time instead of a dusty blue. There we go. Now I see a little bit of a color shift. Okay. So again, we're going to layer stencils. And when we do that, it, you know, the stencil picks up some of the paint on the plate. And that's okay, because what, what we get from that is actually a very interesting print. 
because it it's like these random things that happen are, are just absolutely beautiful so that is kind of like and it's just a darker version of that of that blue all right so this time i think i'm going to try instead of instead of using deli paper to pick up through the stencil i'm going to try the rice paper see how this is like again we're testing all sorts of uh, combinations of things and we can always layer on this print because it's rice paper I gotta leave it a little bit longer and it's not going to pick up as well as the deli does. And that might give us a grungier effect, you know. All right, that's enough. About a, about a minute and a half, maybe. Okay, so the red went kind of burgundy. But it's pretty. Probably put something brighter on top of that. And so, yeah, we've got some interesting things going on under there. And then we're going to pick it up with this. But we have to wait for it to dry. And then it's, uh, it's a bit wet. So while we're waiting for that to dry, we can decide what we're going to do with this. And I'm wondering now if I should just play with this a little bit. I don't know how that color combination is going to be, but we're going to give it a try. Okay, good enough, I think. Extremely light. So when I mix this up, like in a bottle, I think I might go a little bit darker than this. I want to get this even thinner. So leave me a comment if you've ever used Nova Paints, or maybe, maybe a lot of people use um, this on canvas. You know, most people are using Nova Colors on canvas. But did you ever jelly print with it? <clears throat> and what are your favorite colors that they carry? Because they, they have some amazing, beautiful colors. This is kind of a wasteful way of mixing. Normally, I would do it in either a jar or, like I said, the squeeze bottles. So, but today was just a test. That's why I was only doing small amounts. But this one, like I made a lot because it had the, the white. So I might do something with the, like really pale with these three, just so we don't waste. Look at that. I think that might be good. We'd have sort of like a pastel thing going on. And with the bubble pattern, you know, the circular pattern, um, that might be a good thing. Let's see. Now see, I didn't wait two minutes and I did leave some speckles on the plate. Okay, that's our print. Now we're gonna go to this. I'm going to use this to pick up, but I'm going to do a combination of these two. So we'll start with the blue. And maybe I'll get two prints out of this because, you know, 
have both a ghost that was also a little too thick with the paint. That's what happens when you're trying something new. You get a little heavy-handed with the paint. I'm looking to see if there's something I want to overlay with that color. It's not exactly a great color to overlay with this, but let's let's give it a try. Not terrible. Needs more more overlaying. <laughs> okay, so now we have this ghost. So I'm gonna push this one through here. This will be a good test because it'll both of these paints have a lot of white in them. They're more opaque because of that. Okay. I did pick up some, see how I picked up some of the blue? So it's going to make it a little grungier. So I don't know if we're going to, this blue is just going to disappear or are we going to see a little bit of the blue on blue because of the transparency? Slight transparency. Okay, now we're going to let this dry and we're going to pick it up with the super light beigey color and that will be probably excellent and hopefully we have enough I think we do okay <laughs> start uh, while we're waiting for this to dry I will clean up a little bit here we go so I, this is dry it dries nice nice and fast like the golden does um, so, I think I'm going to be using this from now on because of the cost.
Okay, we've got one little blemish right there, but the rest of it's kind of cool. We definitely do see two layers of blue, but it's very subtle, extremely subtle. So it would have been better if I had mixed a, another paint that was slightly darker than this, but uh, or if I had used it straight from the from the jar. That those two colors would look gorgeous together, along with this. Anyway, so this is a little bit of a disappointment. But um, I got some nice, uh, I can't remember which deli paper that was, but that's one of them. This is not, I'm probably going to have to overlay something else on top of this another day because it's too much uh, exposed rice paper, which does not work for me in collage. But the deli does work for me because it goes transparent. And this is gorgeous. I even love this this uh, circle right here <clears throat> where the two paints didn't mix because I added a little bit of white. Look at how beautiful this one is. I think my early ones actually were better. Um, I don't know. I don't know what its stage I was with this. Um, this is also another, you know, beautiful deli paper that's out of my uh, color palette in a way so and this one is more expected it's more like what I normally do um, oh wait I got one more two more I have this one and I have this one so this is the yellow right from the jar and I guess this is the quinacridone red also it's not really mixed with much um, I mixed it a little bit with yellow going this way. The yellow is very transparent, so it didn't make, I expected a nicer orange. We did get some nice oranges here. But, um, and actually I think this is, this is the deli paper that I did. So the deli paper really is showing that beautiful orange, but it's not here, probably because of this bright, bright, yellow underneath so you know these colors all because of the transparency <clears throat> they're going to interact with each other and they're going to change things and uh you know you have to sometimes think about that but don't stress yourself out because a lot of times the accidents that happen because you didn't think about it sometimes they're even better so don't uh don't stress Anyway, thanks for watching today, and uh, don't forget to create, inspire, and share, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.